Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist and Pirate here, and in today's scroll saw project video, have a nice little tropical themed project to bring in summer 2020. The first day of summer was Saturday, and today, Monday, I thought I'd come out here to the workshop and make some sawdust to celebrate the beginning of summer in a new decade. I hope you all are staying safe. And today's project, as I said, is a tropical pattern, and it depicts two flamingos. It could be a male and female um, flamingo or a mother-daughter flamingo. And then it's going to have this backboard. We're going to stain the backboard dark, and then it's going to have a base, and it's going to have a layered appearance to give it sort of a 3D image. But as always, I am getting ready to head up to the drill press and start drilling all the pilot holes to get started. But before I do that, and start making some sawdust, I want everyone to know that the question video I done in the last video, I will be filming the answers to that video and posting that in the next video. I'm still searching through all the questions, so if you have a question you want to ask me, please head back to that video and drop the question down in the comments, and I will film the answer video in the next video. Now, let's head over to the drill press, drill our pilot holes, and make some sawdust. And over here on the drill press, we are going to drill the pilot holes for all three pieces for this project using a smaller drill bit. And then we are going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades. And beginning here with the internal cuts for the backer board which is the setting sun and then the reflection on the waves. This is a Steve Good design and it's one of his more recent designs and if you would like to try the project you can head over to his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and download it and try it for free over in his pattern catalog. As with most projects, I am stack cutting this since it's quarter inch plywood to get two projects at one time. Obviously, I won't be able to stack cut the base. That'll be something I cut out at a later time since we're only going to finish one project in this video. Just going through here getting all the internal cuts. And the grass can be tedious there at the flamingo's feet and just take your time with it and being careful to cut out the tab exactly here where it will go into the base and begin the final long outside cuts on all the pieces just following the line and letting the blade do the work Summer has always been my favorite time of the year. Just enjoy being outside, the warmer weather, you know, just being able to hang out and be outside and relax more has just always been my preferred time of the year. Now we're going to cut out the backer board. And it doesn't have a tab. The only piece with a tab is the pieces with the actual flamingo on it. And that is what holds everything on the base. Again, just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. now the base which is three quarter inch material and I'm you see I'm using the same blade that I cut out everything else with the number five blade and it cuts the pine exceptionally well now over here we're taking the pattern in the waste wood off and sanding everything with 100 grit sandpaper 
with the palm sander and I'll do a little bit more sanding off camera with some finer grit 220 sandpaper and you can see how it's going to look and now I take the base and the backer board outside and I stain it with a dark stain the weather was nice so I done the staining outside and you see me there being sure to make sure all the internal cuts all the little lines and everything was stained properly and then I wiped everything down and hung it on a wire to dry out in the sun and then after it was dry I brought those pieces back in the workshop and used some Gorilla Wood Glue to glue the flamingos to the backer board being careful to line everything up and I use spring clamps to hold everything together and after that dried around an hour I came back and removed the clamps and glued these two pieces to the base and then again let that dry around an hour and the project was complete. And here we have the completed flamingo piece. I think it turned out real good. It scrolled exceptionally well. I really love how the two colors, the stained darker wood and then the lighter color, really pop and contrast. The sunset with the reflection on the waves on the backer board is a great detail. Thank you, Steve Good, for another amazing design. Scroll time, I have maybe 30 minutes in this, but then of course we had to stain it, let that wood dry, then glue it, and then again let that dry. So all in all, it took me about a whole morning to make this project, which I'm not complaining. I got to be out here in the workshop and throw some sawdust and while everything was drying, I completed some other projects I had going on. All in all, great little project, fun to make, really represents summer, and a really great project to bring in summer 2020. Another look at it, and you see the setting sun with the reflection on the waves better on the back side of it. But all that's left to do is clear coat it. Um, the base is still a little damp. I did go ahead and glue it before it was completely dry, but I'm going to set it out in the sun to completely dry, and then I will be able to um, add the clear coat to it. But all in all, a great project. I had fun making it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it. Stay tuned for the next video, which will be me giving the answers to the Q&A video, which was the last video. So the next video will be the answer video. I hope you all have an amazing and safe summer 2020. I hope you all remain safe in whatever you're doing. And remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. That's about all for this video, guys. I'm the Artisan Pirate, and I'll talk to you real soon.